Hey guys, my name is Jen and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be setting up my bullet journal for my fall 2018 school year. I'm actually very late in doing this because midterms week passed last week for me, but there's still a lot of time left in the school year to plan. I'm using the Lamom bullet journal in the size A5. If I time this correctly, I should be working on my first page. At the top, I wrote the year 2018 and 2019 and my title, Year at a Glance. Using four alternating colors of the Tombow dual brush pens, I make my header bars. Directly on top, I write out the days of the month, starting with October and ending in September. This is my first time bullet journaling, so I've left it all quite simple and I use various sources, mainly Pinterest, for my inspiration. Although I didn't get on video, I did go back in and add stars, bubbles, and lines to add more decorative elements. Directly below each month, I write out the days of the week, starting with Monday and ending with Sunday. This was actually quite confusing for me considering most calendars start on Sunday and end on Saturday. So if you plan on doing this, I highly suggest pre-planning everything before going in with pen. I then go in and mark each day of each month. Throughout the spreads, I'll be using three different sizes of the Sakura pens. For the thicker marks, I use the 0 0.3, I also use the 0.2, and for the tiny details, I use 005. The next page is what is known as the future log. Using the same color scheme, I basically do the same thing but only marking 4 months on each page on the left hand sides. To the right is space for me to mark out important events as well as my doodles for each month. To use this page, you can basically mark out the dates and on the right hand side, use the same color, indicate the date, and write out what your event is. The theme for this month is actually inspired by a little canister I have on my desk. It's basically a metal tin with stars and little tiny circles cut out. Next to it, I have a large jar filled with fairy lights. I'll also be listing my Pinterest page to see my mood boards where I get inspiration from. Next, I'll be making my Fall 2018 timetable. This is just a handy spread for me to remember my class schedule. I'm actually quite proud in how my title came out considering I have no experience in hand lettering or calligraphy. To make this spread, you basically take 5 even columns for the days of the week. After looking at my bullet journal, I did realize that I made the leftmost column a little too big. At the top, you write out the days of the week and to the left, you write out the times. I then go in and mark out my classes as well as my free time. If the screen is blurred, that's not a mistake. For my privacy, I blurred out my classes. To the right, I make a class page for an attendance only class, meaning that this class is only graded on attendance. This class is yoga if you're wondering. I chose to color coordinate using my Uli dual brush tips. At the top in the center, I take my dedicated Uli color and write out the class code. Again, I'm quite sad that I can't show this off because they all turned out quite well. Underneath, I take my same color and make two header bars. The topmost bar, I write out the days of the week that I will have the classes as well as the time for the class. My inspiration for this page actually had space for the TA and professor's email as well. On the second header bar, I write out my attendance tracker. And directly underneath, I mark out equally sized boxes for the days of the week that I will have these classes. To use this, you can just cross out the days that have passed, as well as a good way to indicate important dates for tests and projects. Next is a spread for a more syllabus-based class. 
On the left, I do the attendance tracker, as well as adding space for my assignments and grades. To the right is my syllabus chart. Using the Tombow Furanosuke hard tip, I write out syllabus incorrectly and later go back in to correct myself. The chart is divided into three columns. On the left is the dates of the class, in the middle is what is planned for the day, and on the right is what is due. To use this chart, I use my dedicated color and highlight important days such as tests and project due dates. I also take those same designs and transfer it onto my attendance chart for a more cohesive look. If you're ever interested in any of the materials I use down below, I will link my blog post in the description bar. It will have a complete list of the items I use, as well as some photos to see of my bullet journal in use with all the information laid out. And I do the same thing for the rest of my classes, adjusting the width of my syllabus chart to fit more information for the heavier classes. I highly suggest checking out those photos because I know I left most of these blank and it's hard to envision what I've done. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye!